How's it going? Darby here from Gen AI University. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing how to break down customer data and analyze data by synthesizing that data from research and reports inside of Claude AI so that you don't have to be overwhelmed and scattered with the data that you're collecting from customers and using AI to help you with driving impactful, meaningful insights. Now, within this video, I'm going to be demonstrating an example from a book funnel survey. Um, when I say book funnel, it is people that submitted an application interested in doing a customized book funnel done for them or done with them. And so do responses or so within this data, I'm going to show you how easy it is to interact and engage with Claude to analyze this data. So first thing I'm going to do is attach my file. So once I've attached my file, the next thing I'm just going to tell Claude is analyze. And now what Claude is going to be doing in real time is taking the data that I gave it and provided it and breaking it down and giving me some insights that I can go deeper and deeper on. And so you'll notice throughout this video, while we're demonstrating that have submitted ideas for a book funnel, what is this going to be able to open us to in the terms of possibilities for additional insights and perspective that we can use and apply to different clients or customers and in informing our own decisions within our business? As we can see here, the data is being analyzed. Um, there's a wide range of book, to book topics and genres represented. Most authors don't have a well-defined offer yet, pricing or sale place, the revenue um, ranges for their business. And so there's a mix of authors who already have creative financial availability or have alternate financing options if they were to invest in this program. So now I'm going to go with Claude and say, now based on this data, can you identify any specific market segments whom would be best suited for a done for you book funnel creation offer so just kind of going to the next stage with my prompt which is essentially a conversational question i'm asking claude to now give me more data and based on this with potential market segments it could be a good fit for done for you fiction offers um as you can see you mentioned writing fiction books so that could be first-time authors, authors lacking technical capabilities, um, undefined authors, um, beginner to tier earners, um, high book sales. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select a voice dictation. Test, test, test. And the reason I'm going to be dictating now is because I want you to see how easy it is to just articulate what you want to see come out of that data and how to interact with Claude to help accelerate that process. Thanks for the additional insights. Here's some more context as to what I'm looking to create so that you can help me refine and create an offer with data-driven insights based on our market segmentation. Referencing the survey analysis that I've attached above, can you identify some key factors around some of the authors who might be the best fit for a program by clearly articulating the top three customer segments that we could approach with a done for you customized book funnel offer, as well as the demographics and the psychographics of that offer and provide some well-researched insights from the perspective of a marketing director and a psychologist that understands the mind of the consumer so that you can provide an in-depth analysis into what would be driving this market and what motivates them beyond just simply wanting their book to sell more copies. Now we have a much more elaborate prompt that I can take as my instruction, select enter and let Claude now using this next stage of our conversation to go steps further into identifying and analyzing what I can pull out from this data and use in turn to um, create and refine an offer for customers, demographic, younger authors, maybe 25 to 40, tech savvy, af active on social media, but lower income, likely around 50K a year, educated, college degree or higher, psychographics, again, motivated primarily by the dream of becoming a published author, writing a book for personal goals, drawing the prestige, and then, you know, feeling intimidated, right, by the, by the complex marketing um, or the publishing challenges. And so you can see here now we go to the, the spiritual or like the self-help authors. And so that was another one that pulled out from here. Um, psychographics, key insights, positioning, and then expert business expert authors. And so likely males, active networkers, speakers, coaches, motivations, insights. Okay, that's great. 
All right, so now what I'm going to do is because I want to go even deeper on understanding the buyers and building a blueprint around that buyer. And so I've got a recipe called the buyer's blueprint, which I'm pasting right here, which is going to help me with analyzing even deeper all three of these these customers. And so what we see with the, the starting command acting as a world-class marketer and customer researcher, select the three main avatars, and then based on the context above, develop a thorough understanding of their pain points. And so what we're doing here is we're going even steps further and we're identifying again like the first time authors primary goal getting published to become an author um, primary complaints overwhelmed lack of knowledge unclear insights and so all of this is building from a, a piece of research from surveying people that have applied um, or had interest in doing a custom book funnel and now i'm identifying the secondary goals the dreams the objections the negative feelings of you know anxious overwhelmed intimidated inadequate right all things that i can look at from whether it's a marketing lens or customer research or as a business leader looking at ways that i can innovate and develop products that are going to be speaking directly to my target markets is understanding at a much deeper level beyond the surface of what people might submit in a customer survey is that we're taking that seed of data and now we are going much deeper in analyzing the data and coming up with you know a lot more information that can help inform and drive insights for remember not only yourself but if you're doing work with clients if you're if you have insights and research and surveys on hand that might you know, you'd be able to understand your clients and customers a little bit deeper and also providing this sort of service and insights to those clients that you're working with about their offers. There is a number of ways that you could go about approaching using a tool like Claude, which is why I really like Claude for this type of approach because of the level of context that it can contain roughly 100,000 characters in its token um, text window, which means call it 75,000 words or 200 pages of a book that it can reference back to and take into account and, you know, continue the conversation and say, and so now that I've stopped this prompt, I can say continue like going deeper by providing key insights in the development of this offer to target this customer specifically. Right. And again, you can be as elaborate as you want with some of these prompts, as you can see demonstrated up here. This was one, um, call it a command stack. Some people call it a recipe or a prompt, the engineered prompt. But the point is, is all of the context that I was providing beforehand was informing Claude to give it better perspective from what I'm bringing to the table, but then tapping into the AI that has a much wider pool of knowledge to pull from and kind of hear what are some additional key insights in developing a done for you book funnel to appeal to aspiring first time authors. So one is messaging, focus on the messaging of simplifying their path to becoming addressed the feelings of overwhelm head on, maybe sharing stories, and testimonials, always a great idea, speaking to the desires, recognizing and validating the dreams of leaving. Maybe it's a day job, the right full time. Okay. And it's like, you know, again, like all this stuff is worth testing and putting out there what, and like in your marketing, but take this context from what we're looking to analyze real people who want to write a book and publish a book and get that book selling more. What are some ways that we can go deeper off of just a handful of questions that people submitted and then using that data to inform and drive insights that will ultimately make us um, creating better offers and positioning our products to new and emerging markets within our own customer segments and audience, and then doing that to be that much more effective. And by doing so, leveraging Claude, you can cover a lot of ground very quickly. If you like this demonstration and you want to see more demonstrations like this, go ahead and click subscribe to us here on YouTube and you know follow along, like this video, so you get notified whenever we post new content. And if you wanna take things a step further and you wanna join a community and a platform with education training from beginner to advanced to work with myself and my team of coaches, as well as a community of AI enthusiasts that are all on the cutting edge, then go on over to genaiuniversity.com. There you can subscribe to our email list for free, get news updates and offers. And you can also join our membership programs. We have a few different offers that we bring out 
and, and provide to our community members, depending on what stage of the AI journey you're at. But all in all, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube so you are getting um, notified whenever we drop new videos like this. And last but not least, go ahead and subscribe to Claude. There's a, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a free plan. There's also a pro version available that will allow you to tap into Claude and start practicing, start playing around with like how to use these tools and take some of your existing data and insights and see what Claude can help you come up with. Hope you found this useful. Again, subscribe to us on YouTube and I'll see you in the next video.